but we're now going to go to a line which actually both of us worked for. Big, Amazing big line. brand. In fact, must got to be one of the most famous brands on the planet. They are, and of course they're celebrating their 175th birthday uh, later this year. How long uh, it with is. a load of bespoke cruises that are, that are on offer, some of which you can still book, particularly the Lusitania Remembrance if you get in touch. Uh, but yeah, I, I had a chance to go and... Uh, sail many times, not only working, but then sail later on board Queen Mary 2. And you're going to see some of that footage right now. Let's show you it. She's the last remaining seagoing ocean liner, one of the biggest and fastest ships in the world, a byword for elegance and sophistication, one of the only ships to carry pets as well as humans, and the last ship I had the pleasure of working on board. She's the Queen Mary 2. You can have a proper pint in the Golden Line pub, enjoy the panoramic views and martini cocktails of the Commodore Club, Soak up the jazz of the chart room, or join me for some bubbles in the Verve Clico Champagne Bar. Not that I used to drink on the job, of course. This is just fizzy water. Cheers. I used to joke that our guests walked up the gangway and that we rolled them back down. One thing is for sure, you won't go hungry on board, with speciality restaurants serving food from around the world, a 24-hour buffet, and the fabulous Britannia. You're in danger of missing my favourite, the Todd English. Whatever you do, if you come here, make sure you try the chocolate fallen cake. It's absolutely delicious. With live music in every venue, West End style theatre shows, comedians and musical stars from both sides of the pond, the entertainment is rich and varied. But for me, it's this place which offers something unbeatably unique. Illuminations is the only planetarium at sea offering celestial shows narrated by the likes of Robert Redford and Morgan Freeman. And it's also a cracking 4D cinema. There are six different grades of stateroom to choose from, all of it bright, spacious, airy, and very, very stylish. 24-hour room service, two turndowns a day, and the grill suites even have a private butler. But the best thing of all, as standard in every single room, is this. The Sealy Cunada mattress. Quite literally, the best night's sleep I've ever had. Just one thing to mention, I think maybe if you're thinking, oh, that's a transatlantic crossing, it's a lot of time at sea, I've got to say, that for me is one of my perfect, my, one of my favourite things about cruising. Absolutely. I mean, I used to have many friends coming on board and travelling with me, family members and friends, and they actually said that it was the, they, they cruise a lot. And they said the most relaxing, the most enjoyable cruise they ever did was a transatlantic from Southampton through to New York on board Queen Mary 2 or the other way. They said it was the most relaxing, most enjoyable cruise. And they were so surprised because there aren't any ports apart from the start and the end. Yeah. And it blew their mind as to how much there was to do on board. I think it's also worth bearing in mind that this ship was built for transatlantic mm. crossing. She is an ocean liner, not just a cruise ship, but an ocean liner. In fact, let's just show you the journey. Oh, yeah. So this is the journey as you see here from Southampton. And again, as Paul's rightly said, she's the last remaining operational ocean liner. And that means she sits beautifully in the water. There's so much space on board. Even though she's you know, over 150,000 tonnes, she's only got just over 2,000 guests on board. And when you compare that to cruise ships, you see that she's got half the number of passengers yeah. with the same amount of space. Yeah. And that means you've always got places to go and enjoy, to sit and read and relax. There's some great guest speakers on board. There's so much live music. There's two full seven to eight piece bands, one in the ballroom, another one in the main show lounge. You've got great dining options as well from Todd English, you saw there with the chocolate fallen cake. Um, it's an amazing experience. And if you, if you go on board as a solo, like I would, um, there, there, there's gentlemen dance hosts that are there to kind of uh, romance you and take you out on the dance floor and, and help you enjoy your cruise. And cruising is very, very social. So you are never, ever going to get bored. In fact, you're just going to feel the stress of the world just wash off you as you just relax into this completely different pace of life. You just won't want to get off. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect way to experience what cruising used to be. But you might say, hey, it's going to cost a fortune. This is better than half price. In fact, you can get it from £599. Your saving would be around £680. Imagine that. So if you're looking for savings, this is also one to consider. Let's have a quick look at the ship because you have got so much time at sea. What a great experience. Amazing ship. And again, you've got uh, a great classic British bar on board where, you know, the, the Golden Line. You've got the wonderful spa facilities that are run by Canyon Ranch or an award-winning American company uh, that really are very, very top end. And you've got such a great selection of different restaurants and dining experiences that you're going to get food from around the world. But the big thing is the White Star service with Cunard. That's the planetarium that you saw a 
were shot off early, people oh, like yeah. Robert, yeah. Uh, Robert, Robert Redford and Morgan Freeman narrating it. But the White Star Service, the fact that the crew are not allowed to say no to you, they always offer an alternative, um, they really provide service level which you just will never have experienced before, it will blow your mind. Now bear in mind, because this is better than half price, there are some sellouts on this, so you will need to be quick. Again, call the guys at the bottom of the screen, you can see the number there, it's free to call, they're in the UK and they're waiting for you until 8 o'clock this evening. Let's just show you what a brilliant deal this is. Now we've got dates available in May, June and November, they get from 5 99 better than half price, huge savings to be had, there you go, let's save £680 per person, it's a brilliant, brilliant opportunity. Return flights from London, but if you are thinking about Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow, Edinburgh, just any, any airport, call the team. They are experts and they will help you sort all of that out. And itineraries may differ gently, just depending on the, on the dates that you've got. So don't miss out on that. Let's go through the, the, uh, the prices because, as they tell you, there are some sellouts already. Uh, if you want that 5.99, then May. Imagine that you can look forward to it. It's only a few months away. May, it's just around the corner. So call the guys, talk to you there the team. And you know what the amazing thing is, of course, you're going to get a chance to sail into New York. You're going to get a chance to sail past Lady Liberty, yeah. which is absolutely stunning. So if you do go for that balcony, from your own balcony, you will be sailing past the Statue of Liberty, sailing past Ellis Island, under Brooklyn Bridge, just like everyone used to when they were emigrating, that amazing journey that we did from the, from the old world to the new. It is an amazing thing to do, and it's how cruising started. So you are tracing back the roots of this wonderful industry.